How we doing out there? First things first, my name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of Illuminous 4K Screen Paint using Amulite Projection Technology Game Times 2. We got enough light over there. I think we got plenty enough light over there, all right, for this demonstration. I like to do these demonstrations with the lights on because I've said a thousand times after a thousand times or more. If you're watching demonstrations and majority of those demonstrations are being done with the lights out, the high points of that screen are with the lights out, well, that's where you're going to be with that projection screen. All right, so um, as I said before, um, we've had we've got these package deals are available today. The package deals come with a projector, blackout cloth, and screen paint. Now, the screen paint that was designed for these particular kits is a very interesting form of a uh, screen paint. It's designed to make a everyday projector projectors we choose look absolutely amazing. When I started doing this demonstration, I had this little sample screen upstairs, about four by two by four, and I was using a 50 lumen projector, and that screen looked incredible on 50 lumens. Now, keep in mind, we develop our own form of screen paint. So over here, we can develop a screen paint that makes a projector look absolutely incredible. Keep in mind, this projector right here, we, this is one of the projectors for a customer. Now, this is going to be shipping out pretty soon, as soon as we get the screen over here and everything that makes a, a kit complete, and this will be shipping out, but this is the last one. It was a Mitsubishi DLP short throw projector. Keep in mind that when you go and check out these packages, these theater packages, the projectors will change because depending on what we get in that month, we might get 200 view Sonics, we might get 200 of this or 200 of that. But once they're gone, they're gone. And we actually add more projectors on there. So keep in mind, uh, one quart kits go for around $488. It will come with a short throw or long throw projector, depending on what we get. Um, the projectors are refurbished, brand new lamps in them. This is one right here, as you can see. There's no blemishes, there's no scratches, nothing. Very, very beautiful. And we get them straight from the manufacturer. So I got a contract with the company that gets these in in bulks and we buy them uh, from them and we get them in mint condition so there's no scratches no blemishes like to buy them straight from the um, manufacturer instead of getting and buying it used from somebody else you know what I mean because it's going to be in better condition alright so this is the box that came in fully padded the whole nine yards I'm showing you the box and we're going to take this projector, we're going to actually come over here, and this is the screen paint that comes with your kit. Now keep in mind, this is a customized screen paint designed for this package only. I'm going to show you in this demonstration how easy it is to paint the screen in. Keep in mind, my surface is not going to be prime. I deliberately messed up the surface on purpose uh, to show you that how easy it is. Now I've seen demonstrations of somebody taking close to almost 20 minutes to paint a screen in. If it takes 20 minutes to paint a screen in, that keep in mind it's probably about 4x4 four four or 2x4, four, anywhere in that size, then keep in mind if you paint a screen size of 100 inch to 120 inch, how long it's going to take you to paint that screen. If you've got to keep going back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and side to side and side to side to side, nobody has time for all that nonsense. And when it comes to your roller, it doesn't make a difference. You have some people out there that want to make it sound complicated. It's complicated. You got to have a certain roller. You got to paint the screen a certain way. No. No. We're not going to do that today. We're going to do that anytime. Anytime I do a demonstration, you, you see my demonstrations, we don't do that. Paint the screen, and you're done with it. You can go side to side, up and down. It doesn't make a difference. The screen, it's going to react the exact same way, and this is how it should be. Uh, it's no rocket scientist to paint, uh, paint the wall. There's no rocket scientist to actually paint the screen. It's pretty much should be easy. All right, so first things first, you're looking at the surface, pretty messed up, eh? We're not even gonna prime it because there's no need to. I'm gonna take some of the screen paint. Now keep in mind, the kits uh, run from 488 to one quart that paints a screen size of 100 inch to 120 inch. Comes with the blackout cloth. The blackout cloth, I think is seven by nine feet. Um, and also, too, it comes with projector, blackout cloth, and the customized screen paint, which we call the Illuminous Ambulite Rejection. It's called a um, 47 AG or AG47 uh, Platinum. So that's the customized screen paint designed for this particular uh, package. And this screen paint, keep in mind, when you're, design when you're going out, and I've done this before. Those of you who have gone out and bought projectors, you know the painstaking nightmare of trying to find a screen that's going to be compatible with the projector, the projector's going to be compatible with the screen, if both are going to be compatible with the environment. 
it can become a nightmare. We make it easy so you don't have to worry about that. We custom design our own screen paint so we can pretty much make any projector look insanely incredible. All right, so that's where we come in at. And it's not gonna cost you a lot of money because like I said, some of these uh, projectors out there cost you four or five hundred dollars at the minimum and a good screen is going to cost you a thousand to fifteen hundred dollars or more all right so this shows you how much of a good a great deal you're getting now the big boy package we have is the one gallon it does come it comes with a blackout cloth that's 10 by 20 feet it does 100 inch to 180 inch all right so let's get started on this demonstration right here we're going to take some of the paint like i said this is the paint that comes with the kit all right take some of it right there and i'm going to pour some of it right here pour it there pour some of it there sorry about that if you can't see that on the camera and we'll pour some of it over here all right got it in three spots there and there all right now my roller nothing special everyday roller over at Lowe's this is where I picked up the roller at and we're just going to basically paint the screen that's it and we're not going to do any up and down I'm not up and down but no no hours and hours I can't get that why would you I've seen demonstrations of somebody just literally taking forever to paint a screen because they were going up and down and up and down over and over and over again I'm gonna show you how fast we're gonna paint this screen in You have to spend that much time painting the screen, and I don't know. I don't know why you even even bother, even bother. And you seen the condition of the screen? I'm not going to come in. I'm not going to get a. Um, a I'm not going to prime the screen because there's no point. It just shows you that even if you are, uh, even if you are, uh, even if you um. Uh, what's the word for it? Even if you, um, uh, I'm trying to think, I'm lost of words here on, about priming the screen. Well, pretty much, even if you got a surface in your house, that's pretty much pretty messed up, all right? You don't have to prime it. You can just paint right over top of it. Keep in mind, the blackout cloth that comes with the kit, you don't have to use it. If you don't want to use it, you don't have to use it. You can paint it directly on your wall, you can paint it on your fixed frame uh, um, screens like the one I have over here, or you can paint it on a motorized screen. It's up to you on how you want to apply it. But the blackout cloth comes with it free because it's a kit. All right. See how fast it's taking me to paint this screen? And I'm not going up and down, over and over again, side to side. This is how fast it's taking me to paint the screen. Shouldn't have to go up. You have to, shouldn't have to go up and down, up and down, back and forth, back and forth, over and over again. The longer it takes, when you watch the demonstration, the longer it takes for somebody to paint a screen. If it's a small sample sheet, the longer it takes for it to paint it in. That's how long it's going to take for you to paint that screen in on a, on a 180 inch. Oh God, I don't even want to think about that. 100 inch right now would be a nightmare. 180 inch, you'd be there all day. And the reason why you don't want to go with a small roller, because a small roller on a large application will streak the screen. It will streak your freaking screen. All right, so. And I do it once over just to make sure I missed any spots, that's all. This is all this for. Make sure if I miss any spots. Let's go back over top of it. That's it. We're done. That's it. So we're all finished. We're done. All right. So I'm gonna take this, put this somewhere. I'll put that over there. I'm messing my white walls. And that's it. We're done. So as you notice, I didn't have to go back and forth this way. And then this way, and then this way, and this way, over and over again. Why would I take all that time to paint a screen? There's too much work. It's too much freaking work. 
So now we're going to take our screen, we coat it over, bring it back over here, place it up against my containers I have here. All right? Come back over here. Make sure we got everything set up nice. Now keep in mind the condition of the surface when I painted it. It's no point in me coming in and priming the surface. This is an all-in-one form of technology. You don't have to go through that. Paint over anything you want. All right, now we're gonna come over here, grab my projector, well, not my projector, customer's projector, and he gave us permission to do this because he wanted to see how I was gonna react. I got a marker right here. Now keep in mind, this is a short throw, for those of you who want to see this, keep in mind 4K projectors will not come packaged with these deals, not yet, uh, until we can get a deal on them. They're too expensive. But, because we want to keep the deal at it, we want to keep the prices low on the screen. So I'll do this on my 4K projector, which is long throw. I'll go back around uh, 11, 12 feet, show you the reaction on how it's going to look. All right, so we got our power cord here. Oh, keep in mind, I'm going to tilt the projector up. If you can see this, the projector has, all the projectors we choose have HDMI ports on the back of them. All right, so you can plug your Chromecast, PS4, whatever you heck you want to plug back there, you got it. It's already set up. All right, so we'll plug the power supply in. Okay, make sure wipe that clean. I'll wipe this down again. All right, and this is my Chromecast. Plug that right there in the back. Where is it? The HDMI right there. Turn it on. I'm drawing my screen at the same time. Let's just show you when you get our kit. How easy it is it's going to be to paint your screen. It's not going to take you all day. You're not going to be sitting there painting the same surface over and over again, up and down, side to side, up and down, side to side. That's not going to happen. Now, let's see. See if I was smart enough to bring my cell phone downstairs. Here it was. I should was smart enough to bring it downstairs. All right. So you're going through the nightmare, trying to figure out what projector is going to be compatible with your screen. What screen is going to be compatible with your projector? Are they both going to work in the same ambient light you have in your environment? That's something you don't have to go through. Now when that customer gets his projector, his screen, and his blackout cloth, this is the results he's going to get. Keep in mind, screen is still wet. But it took us no time at all, to, it, took, it took me no time at all to paint the screen. And you see the surface, the surface is pretty jacked up. And this is how easy we make it for you to have your own home theater set up. And keep in mind, the screen paint is fully weatherproof. It is 3D and 4K ready. Decide you want to upgrade your projector to 4K. It is 4K ready.
Now the one gallon kit that does paint a screen size of 100 inch or 180 inch, uh, that one goes for, if I didn't say it before, for $598. Keep in mind shipping is free. We can ship this to you all over the world for free. project I'm using is a Mitsubishi. Let me get that right. Yep, Mitsubishi. Make sure I got that right when I said it. Um, it is 2500 lumens WXGA 720p. So like I said, the screen paint is designed to enhance the projector's capability so you get an amazing picture. And keep in mind, we're doing this demonstration on a 50 lumen pocket projector. And it looked incredible. Now, if it looked incredible at 50 lumens, how much more it's going to look incredible at 2,500 lumens? Now, the new projectors we have packaged with the kits are ViewSonics. They are 3,400 lumen long throw. Uh, the projectors were um, uh, manufactured in 2017. Uh, they are factory refurbished. Brand new lamps also are installed. Um, let's we'll see if I'm missing anything else on the projectors. Uh, yeah, they are 720p, but they look absolutely incredible with our technology. Oh, and that projector, keep in mind, does 235.1. Now keep in mind, the screen paint that we developed here is long throw and short throw and does work with ultra short throw. So if we get any ultra short throw packages, we'll be able to do it with no problem because the screen paint is compatible with just about every kind of projector. I particularly like this demonstration. I like how all the colors just come out. And keep in mind how much light we have in the environment. We have a ton of light in here. The screen is taking like all of this light on top of this screen. And look how incredible it looks. Now, we'll come in. I'll drop a few of the lights. We'll pause it right there. Come in and we'll drop a couple of lights. For those of you who want to see the demonstration with the lights out. Alright, so we get we keep everybody happy. All my switches are on the opposite end of my freaking uh screen. I got this giant screen here and it's leaning against my light switches. Alright. Back up a little bit here. I didn't bump in anything. Sure, I got my got my switches on. There we go. Slowly but surely dry. Keep in mind, the screen is still wet, so that's why you can get a little shininess there in the center. It's still drying. I see that in the areas that don't have any shine to it, the areas that are already dry. Alright, for my time runs out here, I am Kenneth from Illuminous 4K, sorry, Illuminous 4K screen paint using Ambulite Rejection Technology Gain Times 2. I hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. 
The new home theater, actually luminous uh, ambient light rejection theater packages are available now on our website. Thank you for your time and God bless. I'm just going to play a little bit more of this. Camera blurred there for a minute. I do apologize for that. Okay. Put our lights back on. A little too dark in here. I like the light as much as the night, or the dark as much as much as the night. The next person, but ah, I've got to put the lights back on. Okay, that's better. Sorry, but I like to have the lights on to do my demonstrations. I know I signed off already, but just want to show you a little more. I just to show you how easy it is to paint the screen. You don't, you don't have to do a lot of up and down and side to side to side. If you if you're watching 20 minutes of somebody painting a screen in on a small little sample sheet, then imagine how long it's going to take for you to paint that in on a hundred inch screen. Now see how the glare is not there anymore? That's because the paint's drying up. I'm going to add my fish, because I always add my fish at the end of every video. 